Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my new video where we are going to be playing Swain Support with a little bit of Vayne on our side against a really annoying comp in Kaisa and Zillion. With their increased movement speed, sometimes it can get a little bit hard to um, lock them down. They have a very, very rough um, team comp for uh, Swain as well with the uh, Wukong, Swain, and Karthus just bringing a whole ton of um, damage. Just looking to protect our Shaco's boxes here. We don't want um, them to stop his uh, clear. He's a pretty experienced Shaco, so we do not want to um, put him behind. And Shaco's just such a strong champion right now. We get the... Nice. So all we were, we're looking to do. We get um, we get 60 gold. We um, force the Karthus to get back. And we just really put our jungler in a better um, situation than what their jungler is. Good, good, good. I peer through the darkness. I think once you start getting into like about gold, that's when they start contesting um, Shaco boxes. I think right now I'm on like a 10 game win, 11 game win streak in uh, Diamond. So it's going to be uh, some pretty tough uh, matchups. I'm guessing uh, I might even start hit, be hitting some people in uh, Smurf queue. Um, consequences. We'll see how this goes. So Halo Blades Kaisa is extremely strong early, so you have to be really careful um, with her damage. Ah! Try to get the fade away on her. Just looking to trade back some autos here. Zillion's pretty weak early. Just get our nice little electrocute proc there. Curious about the runes I'm running here. They are cheap shot for a little bit of extra um, early game damage. Good electrocute for a little bit of lane presence. Ultimate hunter is really really important with Swain because you're pretty alt reliant. Bone plating because they have an assassin and uh, pseudo assassin with Wukong and unflinching just to not really get too badly destroyed by those double bombs. So we're gonna go our vision of the empire second. Yeah, it looks like he's going um, exhaust uh, Karthus jungle. So he's going to be pretty susceptible. They might be setting up a trap on our Shaco here. I'm going to look to kind of stagger towards that side. I guess they did a really quick back. I don't know what this... Uh, maybe he's going back for boots or something? This is a very, very strange setup. And what they're doing, how they just look to push one lane and then back off. Yeah, he just went for a boot back. Interesting. It's going to be a lot harder to hit him. Ah, that was a terrible ignite. Oh, it wasn't that bad. We got an early... See if we can screw with this Sizzillion a little bit. Oh, if that E would have landed, that would have been a free kill. So nice, we got a first blood. Um, we got a lot of um, summoners out of them. We should be in a pretty um, nice spot for this game. We have a, a pretty big Shen player. I think pretty much all this guy plays is Shen. So he'll be able to help with the bot side. And what are we going first here? So, I am going to go a early Zonias. Now, the reason I'm running an early Zonias is because we're against a lot of AD. We're against triple AD threat. And then Zed, I do, if I get a little bit fed, if I get one more kill in lane, I do not want to give over early bounties um, to a Zed roam. And they do have a decent amount of dive with the Zillion ultimate. So, I just want to be able to counter a lot of their um, all-in potential. It is kind of shitty I got the kill. Um, I was hoping that either Shaco would get the kill or Vayne would get the kill because they both scale a lot better than me. I scale better than Shaco, but early kills on Shaco, it just is so... It just really can make the game unplayable for um, some enemy squishies. Ah, this sucks. It just put that down. It feels bad. I shouldn't have put that down with the wave pushing because it wasn't able to protect it. You should always look to... Um, put your controllers down when you have control of the lane and you can fight over it if they want to clear it. 
Gonna look to hit an E here on the Kai'Sa while she is um, CSing this back line of caster minions. Nice. Just doing an extremely quick electrocute trades. We don't want to do an extended trade into the minion wave. Alright. Okay. So our Vayne's in a good spot. She's pretty much free farming. Um, and the Zillion is just cannot provide too much because he is level four he's pretty low he doesn't have any items we're gonna grip him okay we trade flashes with the kaisa i'm extremely fine with that we just do have to be careful of this karthus now karthus doesn't have flash so he's not too intimidating um whenever you are playing support you always want to look to trade your flashes for um the enemy ADC flashes, that's not good. At least the card this didn't get the support. Oh, and they traded one for one, nice. Okay, if we get this push in, we might be able to get a double plate, but at the very least, we'll get a single plate. Uh, are we really not getting the first plate? There we go. All right, nice. Gonna help here. Okay. We might have been able to take Dragon. It might it might be pushing it a little bit. I think he can solo it because he is Shaco level six. We get our Zonias here, or at least our stopwatch. So any um 2v1 or 2v2 when we hit six, maybe even a 2v3, we are gonna win. In fact, I am Any 2v2 when I am 6. I'm just going to ping Y. Because you have just a absolute insane amount of power during that time. Okay. So we're in a really strong spot. Uh, Wukong's struggling a little bit early because he does. he's not really the strongest level 6. Or, uh, yeah, pre level six fighter. Post level six, he is quite good. Very few champions. Okay, we're gonna look to hit him on the E when he tries to CS this minion right here. Okay, CSing it with W. I think he's kind of sensed what I was looking to do. I'm gonna look to do a quick trade here, just a, an electrocute trade. Fuck. Okay, damn. Okay, looks like Zed's gonna be strong, but I mean, I'm fine with that. I can look to bait him in on me. Okay. Just looking to get six here. Nice. Just want to hit the double on that guy. Great. That's all I was looking to do is I wanted to hit my ultimate on two people. And really just put the game away. Or at least this lane away. Gonna look to push this lane here. Even though Vayne might not like it. But we I just want to have a lane pushing back to us. Because they're starting to realize that... Um, that they're really... Uh, that we have bot lane prior. And they're gonna struggle quite heavily to do anything. Uh, maybe I should have... I push, should have pushed another... Okay. That's fine. B -b sell the pots, whatever. I just want boots. It's very strange that the Zillion didn't ultimate the Kaisa. He must have been level 5 and then hit level 6 off of the Vayne kill. Shoot. Yeah. Me not pushing that second wave really allowed them to pressure off my Vayne. And have him miss a couple CS. Ooh, he had a free cast W. You know the enemy players aren't really good when they're just getting hit by a W is when they're not slowed or are not being zoned by an E. Okay. Just looking to pressure him here. This kind of sucks. That's all we're looking to do. Oof. Okay, 
Okay, good, good amount of CS. Nice. Oh, interesting. This, um, this is only in one conditioning. That's a really not a good um, rune against us, particularly against Electrocute Swain. You really want to go bone plating because a lot of my power is just in that very quick trade with the E, uh, e auto passive Q. Can make it just a, just so much burst in the early game, just giving my vein a lot of pressure. And this early zone is going to help out quite a bit with the annoyance of the, the Karthus ultimate. He only has two stacks, which is nice. Our Shen is going to be insanely strong, which is always a good sign. So this game's looking pretty up. Um, taking a little bit of... I took like a day or two off after... Um, I hit diamond. I, I played like 20 or games or something like that. Something crazy like that over two days. So I just knew I needed to take a break. So I feel a little bit rusty, but, um, I don't know. Swain is just such a good character and a lot of people aren't used to playing against him. So you're able to do some disgusting stuff. I always encourage people quite heavily to play champions that, um, are a little bit off meta. A little bit different because people just aren't used to playing against them. Hit them with the E. Just nice. Great. We are in such a strong spot. I have an ultimate. I have a Zonia. I have a Shen looking to ult bottom. So it's going to take... At this point... I, it's going to take three people to kill us. Ooh, if they try and go all in on me, that'd be funny. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, bring it, bitches. <laughs> I know this guy has a lethality item, but I'm I'm like, oh, I'm extremely, I'm fine. I mean, I have a completed Zonias. Okay, nice. Shaco's getting pretty strong. Shaco's going AP, which is strange because we only have one heavy AD threat. Maybe he's just a AP Shaco player. He's not really good at both. Oh. I'm trying to bait an all in here. Okay. Shoot. Yeah, me not having any mana really hurts. Damn. Uh, I don't want to give them the shutdown on me. Yeah, I just had no mana. It just feels bad. I'm going to look to actually bait a tower dive. Because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have... One more demon. Um, and I already have a new doesn't have Zillion ultimate. Who about that W? Perfect. Nice. All we're looking to do. Um, whenever you want to hit a W on someone and they're backing, always waiting for them to um, back for a little bit is good. Oh. He probably could have gotten a connection on that E. Get it back here. Gonna get uh, Lost Chapter. We aren't giving up any deaths, which is really big. Um, I could have get, gotten some autos and a passive proc for that. Um, for the Shen when he all in there. And maybe could have helped him out a bit. But it would have just put me in a really rough situation. And the last thing I want to do is give a shutdown to either Kai'Sa or uh, Wukong. Because they can carry if they get enough gold. He's going the Harambe build which is really strong with the crit. That has a huge amount of uh, carry potential. I'm looking to just kind of start fighting mid a little bit i really like being um in the mid because you're able to hit both sides with your w okay i'm gonna look to just gank my own lane let's see if they'll give us a 2v2 i doubt it Ooh, dude 
freaking hit a condemn. Okay, that's fine. We got a flash out of him. I used my ignite there, which is shitty, but. I think I gripped him out of the condemn so he didn't get stunned into a wall. Which is really poorly played by my part. Oh, shoot, man. I just need to dodge out on that W. We're all good. Getting a lot of really nice global um, gold. Our Shaco's playing this extremely well. And a well-played AP Shaco is one of those things that's just pretty disgusting. It's hard to deal with. Yeah, Shen is struggling a bit against Wukong. Because Wukong's just a great duelist. And the Essence Reaver just gives him a lot of power. He has to be careful. Yeah, they have to really be careful in that... Uh, CB2. Gonna be going uh, Leandre's next. Kind of want to rush into Leandre's. Uh, but yeah, the early. Getting the tier 2 boots is pretty big for them. Ugh. Shoot. Ugh. Damn. Man, they just got fed off of me being so greedy. Oh. Alright. Let's be expected. Um, definitely going to have to itemize some AP here. Oh, shit. That was really, really badly played by me. I gave up my shutdown to um, a target I definitely did not want to give it to. See if I can get a W to help them at all here. The Shaco should be able to get a kill. Nice. Oop. Nice. Alright, we should be able to get drag here. Depends on what this. Okay. Just throwing a W down to zone and kind of just confuse them a little bit. Just make it a little bit harder for them to get on our carries. Throw down a control word here. Now, I don't have my... What was that ultimate supposed to kill? I guess the Echo? Nice. Yeah, I was just be playing a little bit too cocky because I had ultimate Zonias, and that's something that <laughs> comes with the territory of Swain. You're like, oh... I'm so strong, I can live forever, but then um, if you get kited out, you're a little bit like a Lowy. If they aren't trying to go all in on you, um, and you get kited out on your ultimate, you just become a little bit uh, useless. Nice, it hit a W when he's thinking he's safe. Always throwing out Ws on people when they're like backing in bushes, or when they are... Um, under their tower, they're a lot less likely to be um, looking to dodge because they think they're in a safe spot. Now, this is definitely a bit of a um, jungle gap game. Uh, yeah, I don't want to screw around too much. This is, yeah, this is a really poor situation. This uh, Zed is getting really, really tilted. Man, they aren't giving us any 2v2s. I thought they would look to do a little bit more. Yeah, he's just looking to try and bait us in because his cart this is right there. Okay, so this guy's going Gore Drinker Essence Reaver. It's an interesting setup. Oh, that was so close. Shoot. God, I thought I was tankier than that. I just died to the... Huh. And I was trying to bait him in. The, he's doing really good in um, kind of dancing on my uh, max range. Oh, wow. Really well played by my team. Um, if I would have gotten the Shen ult, I could have done a lot there. 
but uh, it, it might have not been out. Oof. Damn. Yeah, his ultimate's really starting to hurt. Wow, that W really didn't hit. That was a very early Echo ult. Oh. Wow, this Zed is playing really tilted. Once I get my Abyssal, I'll be under very, very little threat. Hmm. If he didn't have, I didn't think he'd have enough mana for his speed up there. That's nice. Shit. Definitely giving up quite a few kills here. I'm uh, gonna just sit on this amount of gold. Maybe if I had 800, I'd buy boots, but yeah. Bot lane just started becoming the focus point of everything. Karthus roaming down, Wukong going down, Zed coming down. Oh. Wow, that was smart. Gonna get a nice fat shutdown. Give it to the vein. Nice, vein got the shutdown. It's huge. Damn. Tried to hit both. I didn't hit either. If I would have staggered it um, forward or backwards, it would have hit the uh, Karthus. If I went backwards, forwards, it would have hit the Zed. Alright, I'm pretty... I'm kind of a little bit behind the clock right now, so I need to stop playing like I'm ahead. Ugh. I didn't think it would go that way. Shit! This is a really unlucky game. Yeah, this amount of damage I'm getting hit by these Qs. That was a really bad Zonia's timing as well. So, again, I think I'm a little rusty. I'm not going to buy boots here. I'm, it's really hard for me to come by gold because we aren't winning really too many skirmishes when I'm around. So I really need to uh, make sure I'm getting the most out of uh, any bit of gold. I don't want to just get small um, power spikes. And when you play Swain out of the support role, you really need as much resources as possible. This is going to be a good game though, I think, for uh, YouTube because... I posted just pretty much stomp games, so this is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit more, um, it's not necessarily a stomp, it's a little bit uh, closer of a game. Oh, nice. As I said, as a freaking vein goes for and gets a quadra, it's huge. Just looking to get some wards here. Uh, these guys are acting pretty cocky for uh, the enemy team having really, really strong um, late game. The mud on our boots will hide the blood. Just helping him push in the lane there. I don't think I take any CS with that W. Nice. And I can get by the Andres. Set wave out real quickly. Perfect. I'm gonna go uh, tabbies here because I'm a bit behind the clock. I'm not really the carry. Um, all this vein needs is just for me to build a little bit of um, just some distance for him, just be a distraction. 
if I was uh, like, I don't know, like eight, four and seven, I'd be going Sorcerer Boots, but isn't really needed. We have enough damage. We just need to, I just need to be tanky and be applying my dot to as many people as possible. Okay, looks like we're gonna be pointing around top side. Okay, hit him with that. Oh, he got his taunt interrupted. I could have gripped him off that. I just don't want to fight into that. Just looking to do as much damage as I could. And again, I got focused by their most fed target, so we are all good here. Man, he's already gotten Void Staff. Shoot, well, we're still going Abyssal because it has a lot of utility. And uh, nice stats. This is pretty cheap. You get um, health, magic resist, and 15% increased damage. So it's just a great tank item. Man, this uh, Shen is pretty disgustingly tanky. Has Warbogs, Frostfire Gauntlet. Yeah, looks like a pretty good game. I was able to do, um, I was able to play to a decent level in the early laning phase. Started struggling a bit when they, um, when they started focusing on our lane, but overall a pretty nice game. Wasn't too stompy. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions on how to play uh, support point, let me know in the um, comments down below. Let's see. I'd probably didn't do too much damage my lp is, gains are getting better i was getting like 14 now it's about 18 yeah do, doing the lowest amount of damage on my team doesn't really feel too good because i i fell off a little bit but we are on a really really nice win streaks probably why my <laughs> lp gains are pretty good all right guys you have a nice day